Day internet people. We're going to do a little bit more stride to victory today. Um, so that's today. We've got a shop tournament here. So I'm going to have a go at the shop tournament. And I'm going to try it using the Angel Feather deck. So it's not 100% finished. There's still little tweaks I would like to do if I had the cards. Um, primarily I still haven't got any Grade 1 no CL, which I would like for the guarding ability. Um, but other than that, it seems to work fairly well most of the time. So, let's get in and have a go. So round one, it looks like we're against Chrono and his Gear Chronicle deck. So let's see how we get on here. It looks like this window just needs to come out a little bit more. There, there we go. So let's do that and then drag that one down to there. There we go. Right. Spot on. So, let's find my Angel Feather deck. Okay. So, we'll have that. Let's just turn the sound on the game down ever so slightly, just in case. And see how we get on. So... Hopefully the sound is nicely balanced. I've turned the game audio down quite a bit and I've turned the volume of the microphone up quite a bit, so that's not a terrible opening hand. Uh let's hmm, actually. Hmm. I'll just put that one back. He's good but not immediately, so there we go. That seems pretty solid. So let's see how we do against Chrono. We are going second, which is a good thing. There we go. So, turning the sound down on my end so I don't get my ears blasted out. Right, let's ride the Pegasus, because that could also put a little bit of a crimp on him if you wanted to do an early rush. What with the easy damage um, kind of power boost. And I think I'll leave it there, so let's have a swing. Okay, so he's got up to 11k, but it's fine because we've got a trigger anyway. It was going to go through anyway, but if it had guarded, that still should have gone through, so cool. Okay. So let's see how we go. I don't know how long this video is going to be. It'll only be one match if I get killed by Chrono, but if it's uh, if I win the tournament, it's going to be three full games. So we'll have to see. Uh, let's no guard that one. Let's see what happens. No trigger. However, my Vanguard will go up to nine k. I don't really want to use one of those heal triggers, really though, because I want to recycle those back into the deck. It's one of the things about those things, you never really want to use them. Same with the stand triggers as well really, you don't want to guard with those either, so <laughs> you're left in a situation a lot of the time where you don't want to guard with what's in your hand. Perfs are fine to use, obviously. Now this card I would rather have on the rear guard, but it'll do. Right. Do I play that? Mm, I could boost it with a heal trigger to get a heal back into the deck straight away. And swing it over rear guard with it, but then no. Perhaps I should have done the starter skill for a grade three search. I'll go for the rear guard. This will probably be a crit now, but ah, oh, heal. That's okay. I'll take it. This is fine. Let's see, he's going to go into Chrono Jet or is he going to ride something else? Something else. Couldn't get his Chrono Jet out. That's fine with me, no guard. There's the Chrono Jet. Ah, 10k. This is fine because it means I get the first stride as well. Now if I can get one of those, I think it's Nurse of Broken Heart. I think that's her name. If I can get one of those in the skill when I ride Gavrail or when I stride over her specifically that would be ideal 
Uh, let's try to put that. And see how we get on. Ideally, it'll be that. Well, or the Pegasus would be fine as well. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. So, then we'll have that and that. That's perfect. Because now that can come to the rear guard. And we can add Soul Blast 2 and power up a little bit straight off the bat. Always a nice little skill. You can kind of break the game if you get a nice combo with those on either side and just keep cycling stuff with this guy. Uh, he's not restricted in this particular game, so you can just keep using him. Uh, I'll use this guy. He's got an on hit ability to call another unit. Um, do I use that yet or do I wait till there's triggers? Let's wait till there's triggers in the damage zone so we can cycle those around. What I will do is put that in the soul. Check for a grade 3. That whiffed. But that's okay because I can put this heal trigger here back into the deck. So, three heal triggers going back into the deck, which is always a nice thing. Right, so I run stands. So, what I'll do is mm, swing unboosted with the 15. Chances of a stand are very high. So if we attack with that, 36k, probably won't guard. There's the stand, so I can stand her up. She'll be able to attack with a boost next time. Heal trigger, that works. And I can give the power there to him. Okay. That's clear, but that's fine. What I could do is attack unboosted there, but then relying on that being a hit, you see. But then if it's not a hit, that one doesn't get recycled. Well, I could always cycle it through next turn. I should be okay to guard. Yeah, I'm going to try it. Attack with the non-boost. See how it goes. Oh, it's another trigger. So actually, whatever I call it now is unlikely to be able to hit. Well, this will still hit. So, unless he decides to throw down a little bit of shield. If he doesn't guard it, yeah, so there's the on-hit skill. That's fine, that's two heal triggers going back. I, th I took the risk to get another good boost in attack, but no biggie. That's all fine. So we're at GB1, so Gavriel's passive ability for power gain is not online just yet. Now he hasn't ridden into Chrono Jet, that seems like a... That seems like a mistake to me, but then it is just the AI, I suppose. Um, let's guard that one. Now, if that one hits, it can do the check for an extra turn, but it's unlikely to work, so I'll take it. Just bank on it, kind of failing on the checking the cards. That's a good thing to have in a damage zone. And that'll buff the Vanguard up as well. Let's see. There's a grade zero. Two grade zeros, so that's a fail. Yeah. It's a nice ability, but it's just pretty much impossible to make it work. Uh, that's a 5k guard, so we'll just throw down this for that. And that's fine as well. Now, I've been a bit silly. I didn't give myself anything to stride with. So, whoops. Didn't think that far ahead. Let's do this instead then. Let's have that. Probably should have called that there. But let's cycle this guy just to power up a couple of the units. Plus it'll draw us a card. He might draw us something good. 
didn't put any triggers in the damage zone, so that's fine. A little bit of power gain. That's there for next stride. Yeah, that looks fine. Right. Let's go for... Eh, whale on the vanguard. He hasn't got a massive hand. That's fine. Yeah, let's do that. Then if we get stands more than one, we've got ourselves a nice another couple of decent attacks. One stand is reasonably likely, two is unlikely, but not impossible. So we'll see what happens. He's perfect in that one, that's fine. That's not a stand, come on, get one. Oh, it's a draw. Well, it's fine. Again, two more heals going back into the deck. So, over the space of two turns, that's four times we've sent heals back. It's always nice. Let's see what he does this time. He's got a small hand at the moment, and he's ditched two of them to do a stride. So, he's gone into that again. Guessing he's using a barely updated trial deck here. Ha! That's fine. Power to Vanguard, that can go in. Her skill can activate. Rearguard, grade 3. That's fine, because I've got another one. Now he probably does run stands, but that's probably not a concern. Let's guard this. And we'll throw down the draw trigger. It's like a draw perf, but it's two cards instead of one, although you do the same for a draw perf anyway, you discard two, so... Yeah, that's cool, that's fine. And it puts a perf in there ready to start and flipping damage as well. Not that this deck generally needs to. Uh, right, this is fine. We've got a drop for stride as well. Uh, so, I don't think I've got a soul to do that again, so we have to go into that one. I might have the soul, but I don't think I do. No, soul one. Right, so, let's counter blast that and check for her. She's perfect. Got his grade threes back. Or do I call that instead? Let's call that one this turn. And that'll be fine. And then we'll have him on the rear guard. Now, is there anything I need? Could get that perfect guard out. It would lose the stand trigger. Although, I could just keep what I've got. Yeah, I'll keep it. Let's do the heal. Okay. Right. I just noticed something. Bear with me a second, because... Ah, oh, you can see my behind the scenes there. Right. There we go, that's a bit better. That gives you a little bit more... Oops, blimey. A little bit more off the screen and that as well. Let's do that. And that. There we go. Slightly better. It was just ever so slightly cut off and it was being annoying. Right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's, uh, booby dooby dooby swing at the vanguard. Didn't want that to hit, apparently. Three cards and four damage. Okay. Let's then swing with that one. Okay, intercept. Let's get some stand going. That's not a stand. That's not a stand. And that's not a stand. That is quite unlucky. I was really hoping to get a stand there. 
press the advantage a little bit. Oh well. Let's see what he goes into. No strides. Okay. Uh, what's this? Eleven. Nah, let's not bother. Nice. Stand. Power. 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 Cool. Yeah, it's not much else for him to attack there, really. How much is that? Just 10 or to get power? 16. 30k means he can't hit. Right, okay. I think we can numbers him to death this next turn. So, I'm going to call it. Perfect. Right, let's call it. Final turn. We're going for it. I'm going to ride that just to give myself a bit of extra soul. Which gives me two in soul, which means he's a safe ride now. Let's ditch the other great three. Gavrail skill. I'm going to counterblast this. Uh, let's put that one in. And pull her out and actually ride over that there then we can activate this guy by soul blasting the two which puts those three cards back takes three damage so each of those nurses will go off four well one goes off four times and one goes off three times I think so in your own time This is going to take a while. Now imagine if I had some Pegasuses on the back row, or Pegasi, really kind of capitalising on the power game, that would be pretty sweet. However, this is pretty funny in its own right. Right, what else have we got? Great, blah 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 blah. I'm going to play that down now. Uh, what's my weakest column? But shame I can't get to that... Uh, Refros there. If I could get him out, that would have been nice. Still, I hope this uh, final turn wasn't premature. Let's swing with that one, see what happens. No guard straight off. There we go. It didn't take half as much work as I thought, but I didn't know what was going to be in his hand for guarding. I guess he knew he couldn't guard. 1700 points, so... There we go. That's pretty cool. The final turn got me an extra 500, so it would only 1200 otherwise. And I've won a heal trigger. Okay, round one is done. We've won round one. So let's see who we get next. It's either going to be Nagasa or the guy who plays Narakami, and it's the guy who plays Na Narakami. So let's carry on. And then it'll either be Navigami again or Neo Nectar if we get through this one. I always did like the kind of Angel Feather rescue sort of thing going on, just taking the hits and building up your building up your power through taking damage and stuff. It was pretty awesome. I can't wait for the next set of Angel Feather support. I'm looking forward to seeing what that does. We're only a couple of sets away from finding out what's in there, really, because once this uh, Phantasmal Steed Restoration set's all out and about, you've got the Raging Tactics to find out, and then the Shin Trial deck. And after that, we're into the sets with Shin stuff, and we get the Angel Feather 
support in there with a uh, good deal. So it'll be fun to see what's in there. What's your predictions for what the clans will be like as of booster set 7? Do you think we'll see a massive power gain generally to kind of coincide with what's in that trial deck? Or do you think things will stay largely the same and you'll get more in the way of like a one turn kill gimmick for certain clans? Do you think everyone will have a way to make an astral plane? I kind of hope not. I'd, I'd like that to be just a one clan gimmick because otherwise I think it just becomes stride all over again and I don't think we want that. I think each clan needs to be more individual and although striding's cool, I don't know, I just kind of prefer the game without stride. The reason I play this over something like Lock On to Victory, it's mainly because this one's got G-Assist. The other two 3DS games don't have any G-Assist and it just makes it almost unplayable when you kind of just get the wrong cards in your hand. Um, it really, really hurts not being able to fix your hand and sort yourself out. So... Yeah. They always rush really quickly. We'll take that one. Well, that's just rude. Hmm. Okay. What's that swinging for? 21. So I could guard it with a 10. Yeah. Go on then. Right, okay, so we're riding her. Who's she? Black Hole Nakir, is that what her name is? Uh, let's see if we can find another Grade 3. Yes, there we go. And we'll call that one as well. and get the rear guards. Wow. I don't like that. <laughs> wow, okay. Left himself with one card in hand, but... Hmm, okay. Is he going to even be able to get to grade 3? Yeah, okay. Straight into the battle for step. Ooh, I want that, I want that, I want that. I guess that's the most expendable thing. She's good, but there's four in the deck. And I've, although I've ridden one. Uh, let's get some stuff into the damage zone. Not that much stuff. Come on. <laughs> it's okay, we're going to heal first. No. That's fine. Yeah, that's good. And a perfect guard. Okay, this will be 21 again, will it? I don't really want to lose him. Mm, no god. Yeah, that worked out, okay. That's fine with me. It also means I've got more damage to kind of cycle through as well. So we'll ride into Gavrail. Ride into him and ditch that. Right, Gavrail skill. Perfect. That couldn't have been better. And then his skill. Let's start pumping some numbers. Even though he's only on zero damage. It's fine. I kind of wish this was a bit quicker. It shouldn't make you select the Vanguard because it's the only thing it can choose anyway. It just kind of slows it down be nice if that was a little quality of life thing that they could have uh, sorted out. 
Uh, let's use this guy. Get those three triggers back into the deck. I want her in standard. Right, let's have this and throw that behind the weak column. And I'll keep that one in hand for now. So, let's swing. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go for a rear guard. Is that when it's boosted? Let's kill that. He hasn't got many cards in hand, so... And if I get any stands, that column can go for the rear guard again. No, apparently my stand triggers have deserted me. Hmm, I could attack that and just starve him of cards, but then this is more fun. If I'd had a way to soul charge, I'd have gone into the next turn and done the same ride. That's a bindy thing, isn't it? Yes, and it's bind on hit. Uh, let's try and keep those down if we can. Because they need to be on the field at the time you do the stride if you really want to benefit. Uh, I'm on 4 damage, I don't trust him. That's perfect guard. Uh, let's ditch. That. And hope he doesn't do a critical trigger here. He does have a perfect guard there, but it is only 5 cards in hand. And that's a 16. Hmm, I do kind of want to keep that again. Eh, take it. It's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Bit of a waste of time there, but... Oh, that added another hit skill, did it? Could have told me that. What did that do? One out my soul. Huh. So, I, I don't know. Did I use that? Yeah. Huh. Okay. Sure. Uh, no ride. But we will stride and do a heal. I think we need to. Let's counter blast that one. Mm, let's put that in. I'm going to call out one of those. Okay, now let's use this guy. Okay, and then we can heal our damage. My god, I'm on 5 damage and he's only on 2. That's not great. I saw a lot of heal triggers early last game to be fair, so... 
this one not so much. If I do get any stand triggers, I'm going to go for the rear guards. I got this one. Yeah, I thought you might. Come on, at least one stand. Do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, fail. I really wanted to take out one of those rear guards there. Still. Do I have a perf in hand? I don't know if I do. Well, that's annoying. I need that. Oh, I see how it is. Oh, I see. Go on, then. So I've got a grade 3, I'd like to keep that and that, so let's perfect guard and drop the pony. If he doesn't get a crit, I'll take the other, oh, although the other one's got a non-hit skill, hasn't it? Well, I think it's just something that comes out the soul. So maybe it's not so bad. Oh yeah, that. Yeah, I'm not sure where that came from. It sort of binds it without really telling me. Hmm. Well, anyway. Right, let's uh, not ride. Nope. Do I want to ride that? No, I want to go into that really, because I'm not benefiting from the the switches now. Plus there's only one trigger in there anyway. So let's counter blast that one. Put that guy in. I'm gonna take the heal trigger. Put that there. Right, we'll call him. Call her. And let's do a heal. Okay. Oh, come on. Card again. Whatever, old man. Right. Okay. Six cards. That one then. It does have an on hit though. Hmm. He did guard it. Do I have another one of those in the damage zone? Nice. Right, let's attack the Vanguard with that. Counter Blast. Uh, mm. That one. And we'll have this guy here. Pop him there. Twenty-one. Okay. Now this has got an on-hit as well. 
Cool. That's okay. Skill. Can't blast that. Miss Yell. That'd do a hand swap, wouldn't it? Let's put that in for later. And we'll bring out something to kill a rear guard. Let's actually bring that out now. And just pop it on that one. And go for that. Okay, send that heel trigger back. See where we go next. What's he gonna do? Okay. Boo. Boo. Not cool, bruh. And starts growing again. And he's down to four damage again. Well, that's a bit annoying. And that's a big one. What do I have to choose a thing to lose? That's annoying. Uh, no god. Hmm, okay. Okay, okay. Boom, 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 boom. Do you want to stride? Yes. Has to be into him, so I can't really use his skill. But, oh well. Can't watch that one. Eh. Let's call out what we got. I need something for the front row, really. Let's do that. Okay, and then let's use this guy. Send the other two versions of him back. Okay. Have her and we'll boost it with that. All right. So I'm gonna swing unboosted again. Uh, do I go for one of those? Don't know. Don't know what's the best thing to do. It's gonna guard anyway. There's a perfect guard coming out. Drops him down to four cards. Okay, that's okay. Uh, power there. That's fine. Power there. Wasted trigger, but power there. Okay. 
skill. Something good, come on. Eh, not ideal. Gotta say. Not ideal. Still hits, though. Right, what's this column going to be? 30k. How's his hand? One card left. Yeah, I think I might be dead now. I can take a hit though. And he's not going to stride. Death side. That's gained a crit. Interesting. Uh, yeah, you can kill that. <laughs> That's fine. Um, kill that one. Oh, blimey. Wow. Well, this is hitting. Should make this next one a little bit easier to guard. A handful of triggers. Uh, mm, that and that. I don't think he understands. And even if he did, it probably wouldn't help. Yeah. Okay, no striding this turn. However, that's not to say we don't have anything we can do. Can make that pony beefy. Or beefier. So... Mm, before I do that, let's do this one first. We'll have that heal. I don't want a draw going back in. Do I do two heals back in or do I go for the stand to go for multi attack? Let's get the stand in. that. Oh, useful. Right. Let's put that into the damage zone and take out... Do I take that out and stick it in front of something? Or do I get the Rephros out and do shenanigans again? Yeah, it's more fun that way. Heal. Eh, triggers are fine. Just triggers. Oh wow, it's letting me stack. Okay. Hopefully we can do it through numbers here. Make it just so he can't guard the numbers. Because we're doing it again. This is why that stand trigger was restricted to one, because we get to the late game and you just keep putting them in and doing this. Oh, okay. I think that's the end of the shenanigans there. However, we've come up with some nice columns and I'm pretty sure there's stands in that deck still. And there's quite a high chance of coming across them as well. Let's do that so that can go back into the deck. And do that. Okay. We, after all of that, <laughs> we're finally doing it. So.
so he'll probably just no guard immediately anyway. 41k. Yeah. Okay, it was fine. It was a big waste of time, but it's still funny. So, that was a long game, but we got there in the end. Got there in the end. Now I've just noticed that this little screen here needs to be just dragged down. There we go. Let's do that. Booby dooby doo. Right. Oh no! Horrible white thing! Ah. Is that better? No. Eh, it looks a little bit better. Right. So who are we against? Please don't make it Narukami twice. No, I just did Narukami. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay. Okay, we're fine. Let's do this. Angel Feather, one more time, because I said I would. That's me going first. Don't really want to. Eradicator deck. one of those since it's an easy guard yeah. I gotta say this deck plus stands is just a lot of fun ouch Not a lot I can do this turn. Uh, might as well do that. Let's flip over. Mm, yeah, that. Find a grade three. And it whiffed. Oh dear. Okay. Oh god. Right. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> That's not good. I don't like it when they rush. Especially when I have to go first, so I have to hold back a turn so they don't get the first stride as well. Oh, blimey. At least he's only got one attack. That's something. He's protected his grade ones. Hmm. Okay. Well, not a lot of incentive to ride, but what I will do is search out Gavrail with this guy. Don't know why I called it there. Yeah, let's ditch one of those. Shouldn't have called that there, really. Should have called it behind the vanguard. Oh well, done it now. Okay, right. Let's heal that. Let's 
straight into the battle phase. Big attack. No guard. Ooh, don't do that again. Okay, I was questioning my life choices. Puts me to five straight away though. Well, four. <laughs> uh, hmm. And I lose that. Well, it was gone anyway. It's fine, we're going to come back from this. It's going to be fine. No G assist. Ride Gavriel. Stride into that. Ditch that. Gavriel skill. Or counter blast. Doesn't really matter what. Pop in. Doesn't really matter what. I'm gonna take that out. Then activate his skill to do the two. And we bulk up a little bit. What I'm going to do is actually play that down and put that into the soul. And swap that for that. And call that there. Probably a bit much because I think he's only on one damage, but it's funny. Might as well. Donkey came along just too late. Right, okay. I'm gonna put these back into the deck. Mm, I should probably keep that in hand. Okay, right. He's not going to guard anyway, I don't know why I bothered. I guess it's to just capitalise on any stand triggers, they'll have the power to keep hitting hard. That one, not so much. Fifty two is pretty good for a first stride in this format particularly. Come on, do some stands. No? Dang. Well I tried, okay. A couple of stands would have been brilliant there. Would have been absolutely built. One, nothing else going on. Cool. This is fine. Ah, uh, yeah. That. Tight. 
Tempest Bolt. Incidentally, if you want to see Tempest Bolt in action, I'm pretty sure we had a video fairly recently with Jack using them against one of Lena's old school decks. I think it might have been Tsukiyomi even. So if you like old school Vanguard, look through the archive, you could probably find that. Uh, I've got two in soul. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, sure. I'm going to take that and pop that there. Soul Blaster 2. Cycle the 4. Oh my god, see you in a week. <laughs> so, while this is happening, what are your hopes for Vanguard EX? Let us know in the comments any thoughts you've had recently about the game, whether you've had any. Is there anything you're kind of hoping to see that you don't have a confirmation on, it, on yet? Like, um, what if they kind of surprised us by making it so when you completed it you unlock the Shin trial deck and they've actually put a little bit of the other newer stuff in there? Since we pretty much know about it already and the game's not out for a couple of months, they could probably quite easily put that stuff into there as well. Uh, yeah. Right, let's see how we do. No intercepts, just what's in hand. So. Oh, good dang it. It's a little bit annoying, isn't it? That heal trigger is really annoying. This time for sure we'll get some stands. For sure. No way we can't. Not after all of that. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, there we go. You see, you've uh, emptied your hand to one card. You've not let you left yourself in a position to guard that one little swing. Probably. Although, actually, if he's got a 10k shield, he's fine. Okay, don't heal again. Yeah! <laughs> okay, we got there. We did it. That power boost actually was worth it. So, 2150 VP. That is a lot of VP we just won there. And a heal trigger. Pretty good. And there we go. We won the shop tournament with Angel Feather. And that was fun. And what we won? Another one of those. I've already got a place out of that. And a perfect guard for... Can't even see what that is because it's hidden. It looks like Link Trigger or something. And 500 CP as well. So there we go. This video turned out to be quite long because we did manage to get all three rounds. But there we go, that's left us in quite a decent position. Um, I think I'd probably better leave it there, but what I'll do, as you can see, I've got quite a lot of VP. I'll do some more cool unboxing stuff. I'm saving that VP up a little bit, so maybe when it hits 20,000, we'll go on a big box opening spree. That could be quite fun. Thanks for watching. In the meantime, a uh, big shout out to Patreons, as always. Uh, Tony Smith, at the time of recording. If you'd like to have your name pop up and be announced in videos please consider supporting the channel on patreon and it can start from as little as you want and you will always get mentioned on the channel in at least in a pop-up if not in words uh, so yeah thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this little video and we'll see you again very soon indeed thanks for watching internet people bye Kamui here. Thanks for watching Draw the Trigger. Here's another video you might enjoy.